Previously on 12 Titans Kennels. Reckless talk. Son of a justice. Hey, reckless talk. But I got expensive habits. For those of you tuning in for the first time, I'm Erica. And for those of you returning, welcome back. Greg and I raise and breed Connie Corsos, French Bulldogs, Great Pyrenees, goats, chickens, ducks, and rabbits, all on our homestead property. We are proud homesteaders and preppers building a life and legacy of self-sufficiency. Don't forget, you can find us on our second YouTube channel called 12TK Behind the Scenes on Instagram, Facebook, and now we're even on TikTok. So when we're away, you can always find our updates. But before we continue, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. It really helps our channel grow and it will allow us time to make even more of these videos. Yeah. So I've been making a point of walking first thing in the morning before my chores. And yes, that's my mom's busted up SUV. It tried to go toe to toe with a fallen tree and lost terribly, as you can see. And yes, it's still here. We haven't done anything with it, but it's not going anywhere. But anyway, um, the house dogs are happy to be out and ready to go on a trek with me. They know the routine, and that is to pee on just about every leaf, branch, and rock that's out here so that any other animal that comes by knows that this is their territory. And so out this morning, we have Dora, her sister Kalia, their mother, Zara, and of course, everyone's favorite, Farouk. Zara is retired. She's the eldest of all of these that are featured right here. She's got the natural ears and the long tail. And of course, Kalia and Dora are, I don't know, they're focused on something. It's got their attention. And then Farouk was in the back. Come, come. Come on, Kalia. Come, come. Come, come. We get a lot of comments asking how we tell them apart because they look the same. That might be somewhat true for the ones that have the same coat color, but to us, they each have very different looks. Along with that, they have distinctive personalities all the way down to the way they move. The other thing is we have a big pack. Our name actually tells the story of how many we have. Think about that for a minute. Now, of course, our pack has grown to include the Great Pyrenees and the Frenchies. And don't even get me started on how many livestock we have. But generally speaking, we have a lot of Connie Corsos. And our rule is we all must get along and we all must be able to coexist and cohabitate. This is especially important because we occasionally board dogs from our extended Titan families. 
and we often import new courses to add to our program. This go-round, we have both scenarios. We've got Benelli from our 2021 Farouk and Malia litter, who's here visiting, and we have a new young stud that is getting acclimated to life on the homestead. But for now, this morning's routine consists of some playtime, parking the girls in the French Boulevard play yard, and then continuing my walk with Farouk. Good job. As we move about the property, we are bound to encounter literally a herd of deer as they have become quite the nuisance. But luckily on this morning's walk, I only need to worry about the occasional squirrel. Have a good day. Single file, one at a time, please. Have a good day. Be kind to your neighbor. Be good, everyone. Watch out for each other. Stay out of harm's way. Be kind. Let's go. Ooh, what is this? We've got a little meeting going on. Hey, guy. Hey, how you doing? Come on, everybody out. Guys, look at what I have now. It's not completely finished, but it's damn near close. This is Duck's Landing. Look at that. Their own enclosure. And as you can see, I had it painted, even my triple B. The triple B, the fence, all of these buildings with the exceptions of the buckhouse. I'm happy so far, look at this. Take a look at that, the ducks love it. They're in there, someone's already kind of bathing around. I need to clean that out today. And if you can see, he's already made like a little, <laughs> look at him going in there. Look at that. We made a little uh, door that they can go in. And there's a bigger door that I can open up. So when I'm up in there cleaning, I can go in and out of the house that way. There's multiple entryways, the front door, the back, but if I'm inside the enclosure, look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. And uh, he made the kind of faux window frame and the door frame. And so I'll try to paint that up today. And uh, yeah, they're so happy. Now, um, I believe in one of the videos I was asking how many ducks I had, and someone actually guessed correctly. There are 16, and the reason why I kept saying no is because I was thinking, oh, there's 23, but I forgot I lost more ducks. Like, oh yeah, that's right. Now, yeah, it seems like they just walk and lay eggs, but that's what's so great about them is that um, they're prolific, and they provide food not only for us humans but also the the other dogs so look at that look at that isn't that great that is like beautiful 
But let me show you around some more. Here they come again. They're like, oh, we, yo. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yeah, I can't keep up because we are moving at such a pa fast pace now, at least the changes. Every time I video, take a video, the next time I show it, it's something different. So, yeah, I'm trying to keep up with myself. But look at them. They look all happy. Okay, so let me show you around. Again, you can see color scheme, all of it matches. The great thing about this is I love the idea of homesteading and a touch of farming. Are we completely there yet? No. Are we way further than we were when we were coming out of the suburbs? Hell yeah. But I feel like I've done a hybrid. I've made like a little compound or a little subdivision for my farm. So I don't want the the little things that look like, oh, okay, it's a farm, but you put up a little tent and you do a little wire here. That's nice and all, and it may be highly functional, but I'm still to some degree <laughs> city girl or suburb girl. Well, I want it to look pretty and my poultry park looks like a subdivision and maybe that's what I'm turning the village into as well. You can see the back of the nursery over there. And that whole area is turning into its own compound or mini subdivision. And I love it. I, I absolutely love this. So I have about an hour and a half before my first meetings begin for the day. So I've got to get cracking. It's time to finish feeding these folks, then head back to the village so that I can get them situated and then get back to the house. So let's get started, guys. We were looking for American breeders for that kind of reason to help with like health guarantees and stuff. If we were getting a Connie Corsa, I would 100% get them from 12 Titans. We partnered with 12 Titans, Kennels, um, Erica over there that runs that Kennels. They've got a really good YouTube channel. In my opinion, they are the epitome of that balance between professional breeding standards, breeding perfectly within a homestead, home family environment. Yeah. They marry it perfectly. And it's nice that they're like the nicest people I've ever spoken yeah. to. They're incredible. <laughs> 12 Titans is honored to have the endorsement of Fenrir Canine Leaders out of the UK. We highly recommend our families consider using their online instruction program. The courses are designed to help you train your dog in specific areas from manners and obedience, handling and care, to even how to implement a raw food diet. The best part is it's ever evolving. New courses are slated to be launched throughout the year. If you're interested in learning more and signing up, check out the link in our description below to receive 10% off. All right, I let the nursery ladies out. The house dog, not sure why they're not out. Sorry, if I'm doing this by myself and cleaning, I gotta do this in waves. That's Baguetta. They're like, why can't we be out too? Because y'all be all over the place and the deer are out, no thank you. And I'm not really sure how they'll do around Daft, but surprisingly Daft have been pretty good. Yeah, where'd they go? Like, why are we not out to? I'm letting them have their time too. That's why. That'll give me opportunity to clean. Clean up. Clean the nursery a little bit. I don't have to watch everybody. Okay, Benelli is here visiting and she's not sure how to use the little flap. Yes, we use these mud flaps because they're easy to replace when they get bent up. Come on, Benelli. Come on. Just push. I need to go play. Go play. Thank you. Benelli. Benelli. There you go. See? Come on. Come on. 
Go play. Go play. Go play. Now, but Nellie does not know our dogs. I mean, she knows the nursery girls, but she doesn't know them and they don't know her. So they're probably like, wait a minute. Go and play, Benelli. Daft is being social. Hey, Daft. Okay. <laughs> okay, Daft is playing. Oh, Daft has got a little energy. Okay, she just knows that Benelli is not quite like Asha. She didn't mess with Asha, but she knows Benelli is probably on a lower ranking. Daft. Yeah, I'll probably have him out later too even if it rains a little bit. Be good, Anita. That's Benelli. Anita, be good. Ah. Hey, I see what you guys are doing. Be good. <laughs> Stop beating her ass up. Hey, ah, ah. I saw that. I saw that. Like, I just want to bite her so bad. But you will not. Now Daft is messing with her. It's the energy, because the energy you exude is what you get. See how Daft is chasing after her? That's what Asha was doing to Daft. That's why I don't have Asha out, because I don't have time to watch all of this. Asha would be dominating everybody. Little munchkins. What's going on? You don't want to hang with the big girls? So they went off. I just came down off the deck just to check on them. Those three are off at one end, and Benelli is staying close to me. So Clearly, she's not quite in with the, the girls, the it crowd. Those three are still wondering how come they're not out, but they're not really protesting. And, of course, the other ladies are still inside the, the honey hut. A couple of them are protesting, actually. But Benelli is like, well, I don't know. I want to go play with them, but, you know, I'm staying close to home in case they gang up on me, which I don't blame her. Since Daph seems to be a part of this crowd, they've accepted her. Uh oh, what's happening? Let's go. <laughs> oh, she's saying she wants to play. And he's like, get this girl out of my face. Like, I'm not playing with you. <laughs> See, she's come out of her shell. I haven't brought her to the house yet. I've been procrastinating. She's trying to get her dominance in over Benelli as well. Baguetta! Gotta keep my eye on them. They're, they are picking on her. She's not feeling confident. See, her tail is down. They're letting her know. We know you're just a guest. Even Daft is taking part in it. Y'all be good, okay? You too, Bagheera, because Bagheera's a B. She's like, Wait. Ew, and <laughs> slobbed her ass up. <laughs> she sure did. 
I would like to eat breakfast now. I don't care about all this nonsense. Okay, she had enough. You wanted to go back in. That's all right. Let's check on everybody else. Have you been intimidating her? Pretty much. Okay. Where's Daft and Baguetta? We're not paying attention. We just went out of here. I get it. Don't they know it's breakfast? Uh, yeah, they just want to be out. Thank you, Baguetta. Thank you guys for being amenable to getting into your individual deck cubbies without an issue. All right. On to the next thing I gotta do, which is feeding. Feeding, feeding, feeding. We'll be right back after this brief commercial, non-commercial break. Raw dog food is not all that complicated. However, it's more than just adding raw ingredients. It's the idea of feeding your pets food the way their ancestors ate, the way that they, they are anatomically designed to eat. The best raw diet for your dog must contain all of the essential nutrients to include muscle meat, organs, meat bones, even vegetation to help them thrive. And a raw diet doesn't need to start at adulthood. With the proper care, puppies can enjoy a raw diet from the start. If you're looking for honest answers to your burning questions around raw dog food, Check out the link across your screen. And if you're ready to give your dogs the best raw food meal, then head over to Wasabi's Pet Store. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube10 for 10% off your entire order. Okay, so I made it through most of my day including getting through my nine to five and now I'm back out tending to our extended family and just like our corsos everyone has a hard time telling the difference between our great peers this is Wheezy over here is Bailey coming in on my left and on the other side aside from the chickens leaving poultry park there's Thelma aka t Boz. The chickens each have their own names as well. This one is Tyrion. He's a dwarf chicken, so he's aptly named. So Wheezy and t -Boz. and coming up checking out the chickens is Lacey, or Lace Front for short. And if you're going to have a Lacey, you have to have a Cagney. So Cagney's out there with eggnog and brulee, and we just call her Cags. Okay, so I'm done here. Let's finally go and meet our new stud, Dominus. Oh boy. So this is Dominus. We brought over four adult imports in total. You guys already met Daft. Then came Bagetta, then Anita, and now Dominus. Now this guy here is about 15 months old, and he's a mama's boy for sure. He still has a lot of growing to do, but he is absolutely the first male with his natural ears and tail that we've ever had here or kept. But take a look at this block head and his physique. Man, he's nothing but lean muscle. And he's a tall drink of water to boot. His mother is Antonella from the Garden of Holy Gods. You have to be special with a name like that. She was the 2018 B.O.B. World Working Class winner in Europe with a host of other accomplishments. The blockhead and great lines definitely explain it all, right? On the other hand, Dominus's sire is none other than Marilyn Manson out of Hungary. You can see where Dominus gets his height and stature. So many people sleep on the Formentinos, but if you take a look at them, they can be just as regal and majestic as some of the darker coat colors. So we've been taking our time to introduce Dominus to the larger pack slowly just like we did with daft 
I introduced Dominus to Daft because Daft is is great. She, you can see she's coming out of her shell. Look at her. She looks good. Her tail is high. She's even guarding the village now, barking at Greg coming in. Look at her. That her confidence has definitely come up. I wouldn't say she's high in the pack though. But uh yeah, I started introducing him to some of the other uh imports um because their place is not quite set in the pack as well. So no one should have this uh you know feeling of they own it. That's that's Asha's job. But he's done well by uh working with the other import girls. Even the Frenchies, I'm not sure if he's ever been around smaller dogs. He really likes Daft, <laughs> you can tell. Um, but getting them all out together um, is good to see that they can coexist. And you can see that he is very, very playful. I do love that. I'll show in another video that we've introduced him to some of the other younger uh, pack members, established legacy pack members, and he is doing well. He has not yet met Farouk, although uh, Farouk has seen him in his his uh, his crate and definitely hears him. But I think it's going to be fine because so far, Dominus, like I said, he's a kid. He really is just here to play and explore. And for some reason, everyone loves Dominus. Look at this. Benelli is like, oh my God, who is this tall drink of water? Daft is like, wait a minute, that's my guy. Leave him alone. But I think we're going to have a great time, and I don't have any issues whatsoever with Dominus. I'm just looking forward to the future. They say I'm sleeping, but where is the mattress? I don't believe him. I hear him. I'm gasping. Look at the way that we walk and survive. All in the eyes. You see the vibe. So we're going to end our day back at the nursery. Everyone is all put up. And you may have noticed that Anita looked pretty boobalicious. She had our last litter of the year. She's going to show off her girls to us. They are so cute and gorgeous. Out of all blacks, we had one uh, blue, obviously a girl, and they are just the cutest thing. And I'm super duper excited because we have some breedings coming up, including Daft. And I'm not even sure if we're going to breed her to Farouk or Dominus. We have a big decision to make there. But yeah, they're coming up quickly and I just can't wait until 2023. It's going to be exciting and we hope you all stay tuned for that. So yeah, let's do it. Thank you again for tuning in and following us on our journey. If you appreciated the video, leave us a like. Feel free to share your respectful thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Next time on 12 Titans Kennels. Big money, little waste, yeah, I'ma snatch that 2K for a feat. Send it to my cash app, no post on the feed. Made another fast bag, every hit on the splits. Run it up the ass cap, ass fat, uh, your boyfriend tap that. I ain't even gotta dance, I just throw that ass back.